This is a brief tutorial on adding a new Sierra Summit user and adding a new preserve file in the CAD Link User Manager. Within the Sierra Summit system, you are able to log into the Sierra Summit application via generic admin login, or the facility can choose to create specific individual user logins. This tutorial will guide you through adding a new user login and adding a new preserve file within the CAD Link User Manager. To begin, log into the Sierra Summit application by left-clicking twice on the Sierra Summit icon. The CADWELL user login window will appear. Enter your facility's password. Once the password is entered, navigate to the lower right-hand corner of the CADWELL user login screen and left-click once on Login. Once you've logged in to the Sierra Summit application, Navigate to File in the upper left corner of the screen and left-click once to display a drop-down menu. Using your mouse, left-click once on Setup. Then navigate to the right-hand side of your screen and select the User Managers icon by left-clicking once. This will open the CADLINK User Manager window. To add a new user, navigate to the lower left-hand corner of the window. Left-click once on the Add CADWELL User icon. The new user window will appear. A blinking cursor will automatically populate in the first name field. Enter the first name and the last name of the new user. The username will automatically populate, but it can be changed if a different username is preferred. Continue in the window by entering a password for the user account and confirming that password. Once the required information is completed in the window, use your mouse to navigate to OK in the center of the new user window and left-click once. You will now see your new user listed in the CADLINK User Manager window. The user will display highlighted in blue. Navigate to the box under the Permissions tab in the new user. The user account will automatically default to Sierra User. If you wish to change the user's permissions, left-click once and a drop-down menu will appear. Using your mouse, select the level of permissions you wish the user to have and left-click once again. Navigate to the box under the Database Preserve File tab in the new user's account. The preserve will automatically default to Use Local Settings. If you wish to change the Database Preserve File, left-click once to display the Select Preserve Files window. Uncheck the box located next to Use Local Settings, then select the preserve files you wish to assign to the account by left-clicking once in the boxes next to the preserve files you wish to assign to the user's account. Then left-click once on Close in the bottom of the window. To add a preserve file into the Select Preserve Files window, navigate to the Preserve Files section located in the lower middle portion of the CADLINK User Manager window. Left-click once on Add and navigate to the location of the saved preserve file you wish to upload. This could either be located on your computer or on an external drive. Then select the preserve file you wish to add by left-clicking on it once. The file should display highlighted in blue. Then navigate to the Open tab in the window and left-click one time. This will add the desired preserve file into the Select Preserve Files window. You can then reopen the Select Preserve File window by navigating to the box under the Database Preserve File tab in the new user's account by left-clicking once to display the Select Preserve Files window. Uncheck the box located next to Use Local Settings, then select the preserve file you wish to assign to the user account by left-clicking once with the mouse in the box next to the preserve file you wish to assign to the user's account. Then left-click once on Close in the bottom of the window. Now you can choose to give the user the ability to update the CADLINK preserve file if you want them to have the ability to make changes to their assigned preserve files. Please note, we only recommend that the admin or super user on the Sierra Summit account be responsible for making changes to all files. Next, you will want to assign the user a role by navigating to the box under the Role tab in the new user. The system will automatically assign the role as None, but if you wish to change the role, left-click once and a drop-down menu will appear. Left-click once again to select the user's role from the drop-down menu. 
then navigate to the box under CAD Schedule Position. The system will automatically assign the position as none, but if you wish to assign the position, left-click once on the box and a drop-down menu will appear, and left-click again to select the position you wish to assign to the new user. Finally, once all selections have been made, navigate to the bottom right corner of the CADLINK User Manager screen and click Close. Once Close is selected, the Sierra Summit application will prompt you to log on to the CADWELL User Login window. Navigate to the username and left-click once. A drop-down will appear. Using your mouse, select the user account you wish to use and then enter the password. Then navigate to the log in icon on the bottom right corner of the window and left click once. Then navigate to the home icon in the upper right hand portion of the Sierra Summit screen. If you logged in using the newly created user account, you will now see it listed as current user in the lower right corner of the screen. You will also notice the preserve file listed is the one you selected for the user as well. This concludes the brief tutorial adding a new Sierra Summit user and adding a preserve file in the CADLINK User Manager.